All right, this video will be a solution to the Android versus Apple practice assignment. Hopefully you've got it working and you're just checking this video out to see if you did it the same way as I did, or if you were stuck, you're going to use this to uh, hopefully learn a few things and gain confidence in your programming. So I'm going to start by building the HTML for this, and then we'll add the JavaScript interactivity with the, the buttons there. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to make a new project. Uh, we will call it Android versus Apple. Wonderful. And I'm going to open that with Visual Studio Code. I have the shortcut link there, but you can also just open up code. And of course, we can drag this into here to open the project. Great. All right, I need an index.html, and I should probably also have a style.css. My index.html is going to simply be just really basic doc type HTML. I need my HTML start and end, head and body. Usually in the head we go title and oops and droid versus Apple. And in the body, let's take a look at this picture again. So we have a, a heading. We'll do a paragraph with two buttons in it. This will be just an image we'll find, and then another paragraph with a link in it. And then we'll just center everything. Looks good. Okay, so H1, Android, seriously, Android versus Apple. Um, and then I'll have a paragraph with two buttons in it. The one will say, I choose Android, and the other button, we should put a space between it, I think. Button will say, I choose Apple. Okay, and then, you know what? I'm going to have another paragraph, and that paragraph will have the image in it. Let's find this image. I, I could use a screen capture of this, but I'm pretty sure I just got this one from, if I just search Android versus Apple, I'm pretty sure. Use whatever image you want for the assignment. Um, this one. Sure. It doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to right click and say open image in new tab. There it is. Save image as, and I will need to find this project. CS10, intro to programming, Android versus Apple. Usually we have a folder for our images to keep it organized, although even this time I just have one image. That's okay. All right, so I've saved that now. And in here I can go image source equals images slash wonderful um, often you can do your alternative text right just do Android versus Apple with I don't you know I'll just style the body maybe the other width okay and then actually no, I should do width here width equals maybe just 600 pixels see what that does okay and then after that I have another paragraph which will just have my a tag href equals something and it'll say explore topic okay let's see what this looks like so far um ba -da -ba -da -ba right click open with live server and it looks like that okay that's decent um let's add some styles so i need to link to style.css right and in style.css i'm just going to go body text align center and that centers everything. Cool. Okay. Um, all right, what's next? I think we're ready. Oh, this link doesn't go anywhere, right? So I'm just gonna search Android versus Apple again, but this time I'm gonna not look for an image. I'm gonna look for some sort of article, an in-depth comparison. Wonderful. Which smartphone is best? Cool. So I'm just gonna take the URL here, copy and paste that into my href and go target equals underscore blank because I think I want to open it in a new tab. Okay, so now if I go back here, that should take me to perfect. Okay, so that's my starting web page. I've got the title, I've got my buttons that don't do anything, I've got the image, and I've got my link that takes me to this generic exploring the topic of Android versus Apple. Now I want to add my JavaScript. So most important thing is at the end of the body here, I'm going to load my JavaScript. 
by using the script tag source equals main.js and I don't have a main.js so we need to make that main.js now inside of main.js I'll do a little title Android, Android, I keep doing that, Android versus Apple um, the first thing I want to do is add event listeners right so I'm going to go documents .get element by ID so I want to add an ele element by ID, a listener to that, but I don't have IDs. So this Android button, I'm going to add an ID to it. ID equals Android button, something like that. So document get element by ID Android button, and we'll go add event listener. Listen for a click, and then I'll say choose Android will be the name of the function I want to run. So then I need an event. Some event functions. So I'm going to have a function called choose Android, right? Because that's what I said. When I click this element, I want to call a function called choose Android. So function choose Android, open and close parentheses, open and close braces. And now I need to change things, right? I've chosen Android, so I want the, the heading to say, I love Android. I want to change the image to just the picture of. Uh, just the Android logo, and I want to change the link to say Android Home and take me to Android Home. So let's get some more images. Android logo. Uh, images. Sure, this one looks beautiful. Uh, open image in new tab. Save image as. Hopefully, yep, yeah, good. I'm going to rename that to android.png. And then we'll look for... Apple logo and ooh, interesting anyway we'll just pick one of these that looks great open a new tab uh, save image as and just for simplicity we'll just go apple.jpg okay so let's do our code where we can change this, right? Maybe we'll do a quick little check to make sure this is working and just go alert Android. Just to make sure my event listener is working and my JavaScript is good. So now when I click this button, it says Android, cool. I click this button, nothing happens. Okay, so let's start by selecting the heading. I wanna change what it says. So I'm gonna give this an ID, main heading, sure. And then here I'll go document dot get element by ID main heading um, and then go dot inner HTML right because I want to change the content of that element and the inner HTML I want to change to I love Android exclamation mark cool let's see if that works Woo! awesome says I love Android. Then I also want to change the source of this image. So I'm going to give this image an ID, main image. And I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm just going to go document uh, get element by not animations, get element by ID, main image, and we'll go dot source. And that should select the source attribute. And I want to set it to be images slash, I think it was, let's just check here. Android.png. Android.png. Okay. We can test that quickly. Woo! Awesome. I love Android and the image changes. And now I just need to change that link. Um, the link will give an ID. Um, main link. Wonderful. And we'll go hello document get element by ID main link and I want to change its inner HTML right I want to change what it says the inner HTML is this right so I don't want to say explore topic anymore I want to change it to say Android home so the string Android home and then I want to select the main link again but this time change the href to be a new link right I don't want it to go to here anymore I want it to go to the Android Home, which is this. So I'll copy that. Marvin Sawyer to the office. Marvin Sawyer to the office. 
Okay. So that should be everything there, I believe. So now when I click, I choose Android. It says, I love Android. The image updates. This now says Android Home. And when I click on it, it takes me to the Android Home. Awesome. Okay, now we need to do the same for Apple. So I'm going to do some copy and pasting because this is very similar, except I'm going to add an ID to the this button, ID equals Apple button. So I change this to Apple button, and we're going to create a function called choose Apple. I'm going to copy this function and change what it says to choose Apple and the main heading will end up saying I love Apple the main image will change to I think it was apple.jpg apple.jpg yep we'll change this to Apple home and we'll search for the address for the Apple home uh, this one sure iOS home Canadian whatever copy and paste there for the href and that should now hopefully work I choose Apple I love Apple Apple logo Apple home takes me there and if I choose Android it switches back Android home beautiful okay I think that is the main steps. Change the main heading, change the main image, change the link to show Android Home and point to the new address. Oh, but I, I had the links here for you so you didn't have to find them. I should have read the assignment more clearly. Um, let's copy and paste that. Oh yeah, because I have slightly different. I think that one's the same. Okay, the Canadian Home. Make sure that works. I choose Apple link. Beautiful. Okay, um, and I don't think there's too much. There's one little thing that bothers me a little bit is that, uh, like, I'm I'm finding I'm searching the document for this main link twice. Um, one thing you can do, and actually even all of this stuff, some sometimes it's a good idea to. To just search for it once and then you, you can store it in a variable. Um, I don't expect you to have to do this, but maybe I'll just show you really quickly here. What we could do is just say, hey, you know, main um, link element is assigned document dot get element by ID main link. And I'm not going to go dot inner HTML or dot href or dot source or anything. I'm just going to select the element and store it in that variable. And now I can replace this with main link element dot inner HTML. And then I can replace this with main link element dot href. Right? So it's an extra line of code, but it only makes JavaScript search the document for this element once, and then it just references that with a variable. So I can just access it to change its international and its href. Okay, so that's kind of a, it's more efficient this way. And then I would do the same thing down, down here as well. But I'll let you do that if you want. That's just kind of an, an optimization type thing. Okay, that's it for now. Maybe we'll just make sure that quickly works still. Android, Android Home, everything's good. Okay, hope that made sense. Um, key things here, right, are these event listeners, right, selecting elements by ID, adding these event listeners, and then when the event happens, we have an event function, and then in here, we just selected elements and changed their inner HTML or their source or their href so you can output, change the output of the page. Okay, that's that assignment. Hope that made sense, and take care.